Well, Ben, congratulations. A, another very good performance from your team. Yeah, I thought um, first off we were we were good in possession. Um, probably didn't create enough with it, and then um, started the second off really badly with the goal. There's a couple of mistakes in there, and we concede. But then a brilliant response to score straight away. We then get the penalty um, and get ahead. And at that stage of the game, thought we looked really good. And then a couple of heavy challenges on our on our players left them struggling, um, and we had to sort of grit our teeth and get through the game but we defended really really well um, probably could have managed the game a little bit better with the ball late on but overall an excellent performance especially away from home and that particular year away from home in the first win since December psychologically how big a deal is that to you and the players yeah I think this group is just getting better every day every week you know they're growing in confidence growing in belief and um, you know the more time they spend together the more they're gelling um, so that, that, that's a really good week for us and we need to build on it moving forwards now. You know, we, uh, we've got Burton at home next Saturday now and we, and we move on to that very quickly and, and focus on that game. What would you put your finger on in terms of what's changed? Because you sort of think back to that Doncaster game, which wasn't that long ago and, and it's chalk and cheese. Yeah, well, I think the Doncaster game, there wasn't much difference in terms of how we played with the ball. I think we just made errors in that game. It was never a 4-1 game. Um, and then we chase the game late on and it becomes a little bit more open. So I don't think there was massive amounts wrong. Um, so it was just fine-tuning a little bit, a bit more time on, on, on the training ground and a full credit to the players for the way they worked and responded. Um, and, and like I say, they're growing in belief and confidence with every game. They're getting closer and closer as a group and that's exactly what we want. Certainly attacking-wise, you, you look a lot more potent, you're creating chances, now you're looking more like to take some yeah, I thought um, first half we had uh, we had three or four moments and shots where we really played through the pitch well and um, struck them well and unfortunately just straight at the goalkeeper. So, um, but the response to going one down, I mean, it's a wonderful ball in from Josh Hare and um, delight for James Daly to get his first league goal because you know he's, he's one of the hardest working players you'll ever find and um, everyone's absolutely delighted for him. I was going to pick about him because you know he's one of those you know you're going to get the, the work rate from him he puts it out but to get himself in that position you know backing on the other cross game into that area that, that's going to do his confidence the world. Yeah exactly I think that will you know he will flourish now with, with that in terms of front of goal but the great thing about James like you say is his work rate he's what he does for the team but also he gets into those positions regularly and I always think front players the ones that are getting in between the posts are the ones that score goals so he will score goals because he gets there so often um, and, and you know we've been a lot more potent in the last um, in the last three games now getting through the pitch and um, and that's something that we can still build on. Two Saturdays in a row Brandon wins a penalty mm. and then converts it. Yeah I thought uh, some, of his, some of his ability to you know to win the penalty again was fantastic same as last week um, but I think we saw the other side of his game today where he took a real heavy bang um, very sore one and um, he gritted his teeth and got through another 20 minutes for the team um, and I think that, that, that's a big indicator of where we're going as a side. And actually, when you look at your team, the, sort of the, the experiences in those defenders, particularly sort of back three, you've got other options that you can put in there. And, and they're starting to look a little bit more like a unit, like you would hope to, like a solid base for your team. Yeah, I think, um, as I say, the goal's disappointing because um, it was a needless situation to give them straight after, um, straight after half time. But other than that, I thought we defended really well. Um, you know, Anthony, not too many saves of note that I can I can remember throughout the game. So, you know, to come to Lincoln, who have started the season really well and um, obviously top of the league, um, was was really pleasing from a from a defensive point of view. We can see the sort of improvements happening. How much further can this team go in terms of what its potential is? I think go a long way. You know, I think. Uh, you know, I've been made aware of some comments before the game about us having over 30 players in our squad and investing heavily. This, you know, we, we've made a profit in transfer fees. We've lowered our wage bill. We're well within the salary cap. Um, we, we've reduced the numbers in our squad. You know, the reason we've picked up the last couple of weeks is because how hard, hard these players are working on the training ground. So, um, I think they're only going to get better. You know, if you look through the team, there's a lot of young players in there. Um, some of them haven't played at this level before and the more they play the better they're going to get, the more experience they gain. Um, but really pleasing how, um, not, not the horrible side of the game, but the um, sort of cleverness to you know, buy free kicks late on and manage the game and, um, and take our time off restarts and things like that. You know, little things that come with experience, this is, these are things that this group is learning. So I'm really pleased with them and, um, and I think there's more to come. And for you personally, obviously your first job in senior management, this has been tough at times over the last few months, whether it's COVID or the results not going your way. It is only a couple of results in a row, but you're starting to see those things. How gratifying is that for you? 
Yeah, it is. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's credit to everyone from you know day one of pre-season. I said this last week. You know, staff have been absolutely brilliant. Um, we put we put a lot more staff in and, and, and sort of specialist areas that we felt we needed to add to what the players need in terms of nutrition and sports science and analysis. Um, and that's credit to all the staff and the players for how how hard they work from from day one. So. Um, you know, I don't look at it as me. Um, you know, my job is to give them everything they need to win games, um, and they've done that you now back to back in the league, which is fantastic. And we, we want to build on that.